As you know, most SUAS must be registered with the FAA before they can be operated in the national airspace system. Let's go over the regulations regarding the registration of drones in a little more detail. First, whether it's operated under Part 107 or as a model aircraft under Part 101, an SUAS must be registered if it weighs more than point five five pounds about half a pound it must be registered before it can be flown and it must be re-registered every three years and it must be registered by someone who is at least 13 years old and a u.s citizen or permanent resident if a drone is owned, controlled, or operated by someone who is not a U.S. citizen or permanent resident, or if it's registered in a foreign country, the drone operation requires a foreign aircraft permit. Registering your drone is simple. Just go to the FAA's UAS website and either use the search function at the top of the page or go to the top task box and select register your UAS. You can find guidance on SUAS registration and markings on this website as well. Once the aircraft is registered and before you can operate it, it must be marked with a unique registration identifier issued by the FAA. The registration marking must be legible and durable, and it must be visible externally. To mark it, you can use engraving, a permanent marker, or self-adhesive labels. Now, an FAA airworthiness certificate is not required for an SUAS, but the SUAS must be maintained in a condition for safe operation and the remote PIC is responsible for inspecting the aircraft before each flight in order to ensure it's in a condition for safe operation. Additionally, no one may continue an operation if they know that the aircraft is no longer in a condition for safe operation.